is Mississauga going to get into red zone on March 9th? So I was really hoping we would, and you know I think we should, but I just received the latest epidemiology report, and I have to tell you it's not promising. Um, our case counts are up, only marginally, but still up. We were at 73.2 cases last week, and we're at 74.2, so we did go up. Brampton's up quite a bit too. Okay. They were at 115 cases. Now they're 128. Caledon, okay. uh, they're up as well. They were 66 cases. Now they're 72. But that's not the concerning number. Last week, we all had R factors in a 0.9 range. Now we're all over one, which means that guaranteed every person with COVID will infect at least one other person, but it's higher than one, so it'll be more than one person. So your numbers can't go down when you have an R factor over one. And then the positivity rates, actually ours is okay. Uh, ours was 4.5 last week, it's 4.8. That's not bad. Calid uh, excuse me, Brampton's was 7.4 and they're 8.7. So that's, those are not good things. And we did have a briefing from Dr. Lowe yesterday and uh, it was yesterday, uh, last evening, he presented a deck to us and it's really the rise of the variants that are so transmissible. And he was showing us on charts and graphs that imitated results from uh, experience in Europe um, and uh, place, some places in the United States, mostly Europe. Um, and that just showed that this is the time to lock down, not t time to open. So will we go into red? I don't think so. But I'm hopeful we will go to gray and then keep things under control and continue to be on the right path to go to red. I think, I think, I'm fairly hopeful we will go to at least gray so retail can open with minimum capacities, 25% capacities, it's the restaurants, the gyms, and the personal care services that can't open in gray, only in red. Okay, so uh, I guess my, my next question, and I think you kind of answered it, was, you know, what does Dr. Lowe, the Peel uh, Chief Medical Officer, think of Mississauga and Peel going into red zone? I think you kind of answered it, unless you want to add more, <laughs> so. So, uh, you know, I think it, it, he's hard pressed. He and Dr. Davila in Toronto are hard pressed because they are factors to even go into gray. But I think because there was so much hope and optimism with red, I think we can be, uh, they can be persuaded that to, to, to try gray with limited openings. Um, but I think red is probably off the table at this point. I was so hopeful. I was so hopeful, but these numbers, I just got the numbers. In fact, I asked him, uh, for them so that I could have them for your broadcast. Oh, and they're just, um, it's the R factor. Like as soon as you see something over a one. Did, did Dr. Lowe mention anything about, I mean, I think Toronto was going to move into gray, I believe. I mean, I think that's what they're pointing towards. Was there kind of a, an issue or kind of a pressure there to keep Mississauga and peeling gray as well, just because of all the back and forth that would have happened if, you know, if one was red and one was gray. Um, I hear you. I don't think that was the issue as much because certainly Oakville, Halton is open and, and York, Vaughan is open. And certainly York had similar numbers to what we had, case numbers have, because they were 69 cases per 100,000 when they opened. And, you know, today we're at 74. So that's not where the difference is. The difference is always in the R factor. And I think that, you know, the hospitals, while they're keeping their own, Michelle did tell me they still have transferred up some patients. Selective surgeries aren't quite where they should be. So we understand that. He, she said, look, we're holding our own. But, you know, obviously better to be safe than sorry. And Dr. Lowe always is opt uh, very cautious. And, we, you know, have to, this is his pro professional integrity. So, of course, he wants to do what is right for our well-being. So I just got the numbers. You can see I'm a little bit disappointed. I looked down with a heavy heart and gave a big sigh. And kind of feel a little deflated at this moment because I was so hopeful. Um, but I guess the... VOCs, the variants of concern, are taking hold and, from what I understand, do cause more hospitalizations and severe symptoms. So, 
Yeah, uh, I don't think he would have kept us closed if our numbers had warranted to be in the red. Um, he would have allowed us, but 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 we're not there. 